I think everybody understands the concept of a trade show. Vendors show up with their product and the customers check them out to see if it's something they wanted to purchase. But who knew when we came to IMIS that this trade show would be the perfect place to launch a new racing series. Bruce, I know most of our viewers are familiar with the USAC Silver Crown Series. This is Gold Crown Championship Racing. What's the difference? Because I would assume there might be some confusion out there between the two series. Well, actually, yes. Part of the confusion came about because when these cars were introduced in 2006, they were the new generation Silver Crown car. Then they raced for two years. Uh, we had 21 cars on the grid at Phoenix in 2007. Uh, and then USAC went back to the old Silver Crown rules. Uh, because those guys who had those old cars spun off and started another race car series against this series. So you had a real confusion going on. So first thing Sil um, USAC did was put Silver Crown back together again. So 2008, 2009, that's what's been running. Silver Crown will always carry on running in that form. And then we're bringing these cars back with a new look, a, new, a whole new styled body that General Motors and Chevrolet were involved in. Uh, and we'll bring that back as the Gold Crown Championship. I know in this current economic state of affairs, you're seeing teams not find sponsors and right. tracks going under. Why in the world would you decide to launch a new series? I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I wake up most mornings and think, what am I doing? But there's such a passionate group of car owners that had these cars in the first place. I mean, we, you know, we've got guys like AJ Foyt, Ron Himmelgarn, Steve Warwick, Daryl Guiducci, Roger Johnson. These guys own these cars. They were very passionate about the series. That's why they got into it in the first place. There's 23 of them out there, 17 owners with 23 cars, and, uh, and they want to see them race again. So I just, I got involved with a group to, first of all, restyle the car, then rename it, um, and then launch the series. And, uh, you know, on top of that, we have, we have 11 new cars that we can, that it, between four constructors we own. So there's a potential of 35 cars, so it just get, it gets me out of bed in the morning to, to try and get this to try and get this going. I know that folks that follow motorsports, we've been hearing about this series coming for a while, but it always just been kind of talk and rumors that are out there. How important was it for you to come to this show with actual cars to really let people know this is going to happen? Oh, it, it was huge. I mean, it, the, the end of like two years work, you know, we came to the PRI show with a styling model, uh, showed that off. And then this year, coming to the Indianapolis Trade Show, the first time the show's been here in Indy, and uh, with, a, with a car. But not only that, we came here with two cars. But I think the best story is that uh, here's a, this is a new series in a weak economy that you mentioned earlier, and I've managed to sell seven body kits to update the existing cars and landing a sponsor for the series in Goodyear and a major tire company to supply tires for the series in, uh, for a series that really doesn't exist. You know, I talked to a bunch of people that were looking at the car and talking about the car in the series, and they really felt like that Goodyear signing, mm -hmm. that they would be the official tire for the series, really kind of in their mind put you over the hump. That really legitimized the series. Do you feel the same? Oh, it was huge. It's, I mean, we've been working on this for a year now to try and get this deal done, and, and uh, you know, Stuart Grant and, um, and Greg Stucker at Goodyear have been fantastic. And uh, I think having AJ Foyt on board was, was massive to, to be able to pull that deal off. But yeah, it puts us at, at a, quite a high level. You know, I mean, obviously not level with NHRA, NASCAR, and, and IndyCar, but in that same uh, type of race series. So we're a, we're a legitimate series with a credible sponsor and, and a product supplier. Well, it had been just rumors, but seeing the cars here at the IMIS show, really put some uh, truth to the fact that the Gold Crown Championship Racing Series is coming to bat, taking the green flag in 2011.